And good morning. I'm Carol Costello. Thanks so much for joining me. Hours from now, Donald Trump speaks in Virginia Beach on the heels of a new show of support from military leaders. This morning, the Trump campaign revealing the endorsement of 88 retired U.S. generals and admirals. The group signing a letter that in part rips the Obama administration, quote, America's armed forces have been subjected to a series of ill-considered and debilitating budget cuts. With me now is one of the 88 military officials who signed that letter, retired Brigadier General Remo Butler. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much, Carol. How are you this morning? I'm good. I'm, wa I'm good, and thank you so much for being here. Why did you throw your support behind Donald Trump? I threw my support behind Donald Trump primarily because of some of the military people that he has surrounded himself with. And when I say that, I'm not saying it lightly. I'm saying that Donald Trump has surrounded himself with what I consider military leaders, warriors, statesmen, Who specifically, diplomats. sir, so we know? Pardon me? Who specifically, sir, so we know? Oh, I'll, I'll tell you, one of the, my all-time heroes is retired General Sidney Shack. now. Uh, a lot of credibility in the community. Uh, Keith Kellogg, another retired general, a uh, good friend of mine and a, and a huge warrior. Uh, Major General uh, Gary Harrell. These are all retired folks uh, that I have a lot of faith in. I've worked with them before. I have a lot of confidence in them. And they're working with uh, Donald Trump right now, and they're advising him. And they say he is listening to their advice. And mm -hmm. I think that that's what he needs. No one, no one is supremely intelligent. And if he takes their advice and listens to what they say and then makes his decision, I, I think that we'll have a great armed forces. Now, wait a minute. If he takes their advice, um, what exactly do you mean by that? Well, if you remember, if you're a commander, you have a staff. Uh -huh. People give you advice. You don't have to take their advice, but they will give you the best advice. At the end of the day, the commander will make his own decisions. So those people I know will give him some great advice. Now, at the end of the day, and, if and he and takes that advice... I'm just trying to understand because a lot of people, uh, you know, the, one of the criticisms that the Democrats have, for example, is that Donald Trump has said he knows more than the generals. Is that what you're talking about when, when you say no. if he takes our advice? No, I'm, I'm not talking about that at all. I'm uh -huh. talking about, let's say, CNN. You have a boss, and your boss might ask you a question. You will give him the best advice that you possibly can, correct? Her, yes. Yes. And if he takes it, fine, great. If he doesn't take that advice, then you will say, that was my best advice, now what do you want me to do? And you will execute to the best of your ability. Gotcha. There, there have been um, many other military officials who have thrown their supports behind Hillary Clinton because of some of the things that Donald Trump has said. For example, he has suggested that we return to torturing terrorism suspects. Um, he has said that he wants to kill the family members of terrorists. Do those things concern you? Yes, they did concern me. And I'll tell you why. A lot of times people say things, not really understanding the consequences of their statements. I believe that with the people that he has working for him now, that are advising him now, those statements are moot. You know, we all learn from our so you think So you think now Donald Trump thinks that those statements were a mistake? I would never, ever try to tell you what he thinks. What I am saying, and I'll say it again, is that sometimes we say things based on the knowledge that we have right now. I think if he listens to his advisors, they will advise him on things that he can do and cannot do. It's up to him at the end of the day to make the right decision. Do you think it might be a little too late? For example, um, the Dallas newspaper this morning, um, its editorial board wrote um, quite an anti-Trump editorial, and I'll just read part of it for you. It says, quote, Trump pledges to make our military so big, so powerful, so strong that nobody, absolutely nobody is going to mess with us. But what does he want to do with that military? He says he supports killing the families of Muslim terrorists and allowing interrogation methods a hell of a lot worse than waterboarding. And if the military balks at obeying such orders, if I say do it, they're going to do it, Trump says. So... What? You know, what? as well as I do, that within our system of democracy, there's a system called checks and balances. Even as the chief executive, the president of the United States, 
he cannot do anything that he wants to do because we have a supreme court and a congress that serve as checks and balances and there are enough people who would would do that would take that mission upon themselves to check him and someone will say mr president that's illegal you can't do that and believe me he's not going to do that but but you don't know, people you think some, that don't you think that our allies overseas hear those things or yes, our they enemies do. hear you're, those things you're absolutely, and that you're might, absolutely right so if i'm so if i'm right how can you support donald trump when clearly you don't agree with some of the things that he said and again you're absolutely right uh, that our allies are listening to him and they're making their own decisions on what to say and what to do the the place that you've put me in is yes he said some things that i don't totally agree with and i'll be the first to admit that but again as i said people grow hopefully he is growing and learning and there are enough people on his team and he has a new team basically that will take him and help him find the right path to success i believe also that do, at do some point do you think that the time, country can afford that when we're fighting an enemy like isis well, to wait for our commander in chief to learn he's not our commander in chief yet is he well he may be he may be and by the time he becomes commander in chief he should have learned those lessons that's you like know, 62 all, days also, away though i know but we also must acknowledge that many times especially today in the world today you must deal from a position of strength you cannot show weakness to some of our enemies you must say things sometimes so they understand that you're very very serious oh wait I'm and yes kidding. you're right it's only I'm, 60 some days away I'm sorry I was but just I getting believe, some, some I believe I'm sorry that, sir can you repeat what you said I didn't hear you my eyes be temporarily yes, I went said, out you're correct it's only 60 days away but I believe that Mr. Trump is a smart man and I know for a fact that the people around him are smart people mm -hmm. and I believe and this is just my personal belief that at the end of the day, he, his advisors and him will make the right and sound decisions that will benefit so, both the United States so, and so, our and allies. I, and I do hear you, sir. I, I just want to I, I just want to clarify. So, if Donald Trump doesn't say certain things that that you agree with, right, that are good for our country and are good for our military forces, if he doesn't change his tune, will you drop your support? Or is it just unqualified support? No, ma'am. No, no, no. I would be a fool to give anyone my unqualified support. Uh, I am listening to what he says. I am listening and watching his actions. And right now, today, uh, which is the 3rd of September, I'm supporting him. But that's not saying that he might do something totally out of control. And on the 5th, I would do as so many other people and say, I can't support that. I am not a robot. I will not just fall in behind and march lockstep. I have a brain, a very good brain, I might add, and um, I will think through my decisions very, very carefully. All right, uh, Brigadier General. It was General. a big decision point to come on CNN and do this.